Dear esteemed parishioners, I am truly grateful to see all of you here today, and I feel privileged to share with you a profound message about Jesus' healing ministry as found in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 8, verses 1 to 4. Let's begin with a real-life story that brings the essence of these verses to life, connecting our faith to our lives in Kerala, India. A few years ago, in a quiet village in our beloved Kerala, there lived a woman named Maria. She was a strong, vibrant soul, but she was burdened by an illness that had left her bedridden for months. She had visited countless doctors, tried various remedies, and still, her condition deteriorated. Yet, amidst her suffering, her faith remained unwavering. One day, her close friend Josephine, a devout parishioner, came to visit Maria. She sat by her bedside and shared the story we find in Matthew chapter 8 verses 1 to 4. Josephine spoke of the leper who approached Jesus, saying, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. And how, in response, Jesus reached out, touched the leper, and declared, I will, be clean. Instantly, the leper was healed. Maria's heart swelled with hope as she listened to this story. Inspired by the leper's faith, she asked Josephine to pray with her. They prayed earnestly, just like the leper, believing that Jesus could heal her. And, my dear friends, I'm overjoyed to share that Maria experienced a miraculous recovery. She rose from her sickbed, her health fully restored. Her healing was a testament to the enduring power of faith in Jesus' healing ministry, even in our lives today. Now, let's dive into an exegetical study of Matthew chapter 8 verses 1 to 4 to gain deeper insights into this remarkable passage. Verse 1. When he came down from the mountain, great crowds followed him. This verse follows Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, where he taught about the Kingdom of God. The crowd's eager following underscores their deep yearning for the message and healing touch of Jesus. Verse 2, And behold, a leper came to him and knelt before him, saying, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. The leper's approach is profound. Leprosy was not only a physical affliction but also carried the stigma of social isolation. Yet, his faith shines through as he kneels before Jesus, acknowledging his authority and power to heal. Verse 3. And Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I will, be clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. In this moment, we witness Jesus' compassionate touch, transcending social norms and legal restrictions. His words, I will, reveal his willingness to heal, and the instant healing underscores his divine authority over illness and impurity. Verse 4. And Jesus said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest and offer the gift that Moses commanded, for a proof to them. Jesus' instruction highlights his respect for the law and the religious authorities. It also serves as proof to the priest, affirming the miraculous healing. In comparing this passage to others in the Bible, we can turn to the account of Naaman's healing in 2 Kings chapter 5. Naaman, a military commander, suffered from leprosy and sought healing from the prophet Elisha. Like the leper in Matthew's Gospel, Naaman's healing required faith, humility, and obedience to God's instructions. Now, let's connect these timeless teachings to our Kerala context. Here, faith and spirituality are deeply ingrained in our daily lives. We've witnessed countless instances of faith healing, where people from diverse backgrounds turn to their faith traditions, be it Christianity, Hinduism, or others, seeking physical and spiritual healing. The stories of Jesus' healing ministry continue to inspire us, encouraging us to approach God with unwavering faith and trust, just as the leper did. Before I conclude, let me share a quote from Saint Augustine. Faith is to believe what we do not see, and the reward of this faith is to see what we believe. These words remind us that faith is the key to experiencing the healing and transformative power of Jesus in our lives. In conclusion, my dear parishioners, let us carry the message of Jesus' healing ministry with us as we navigate the challenges of our lives in Kerala. May we have faith like the leper, and may we continue to witness the miraculous healing touch of our Lord, drawing us closer to Him in faith and love. Amen. Bajanabayal Ap എക്കാലത്തെയും ഭജന പഠനത്തിനുള്ള ബൈബിൾ ക്വിസുകൾക്കുള്ള ഉത്തമ സഹായം ഇന്നു തന്നെ ഗൂഗിൾ പ്ലേ സ്റ്റോറിൽ നിന്ന് ഭജന വയൽ ആപ്പ് ഡൗൺലോഡ് ചെയ്ത് വിവിധ ക്വിസുകൾക്കായി പഠിക്കാൻ ഈ ബുക്കുകൾ സ്വന്തമാക്കൂ ലോഗോസ് ക്ലബ് അംഗത്വമെടുത്ത് ലോഗോസിനായിരുന്നു 
വചനവയൽ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്ത് മത്സര റിസൾട്ടുകൾ ആദ്യമറിയാം ഡബ്ല്യൂ 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 ഡോട്ട് വചനവയൽ ഡോട്ട് കോം എന്ന സൈറ്റിലും ഈ ആപ്പ് ലഭ്യമാണ് എക്കാലത്തെയും ബൈബിൾ ക്വിസുകൾക്കും സഭാവിജ്ഞാന ക്വിസുകൾക്കും പരീക്ഷകൾക്കും വേദപാഠ പരീക്ഷകൾക്കും സഹായിക്കുന്ന ഒരു ലക്ഷത്തിന് പരം ചോദ്യോത്തരങ്ങൾ എക്കാലത്തെയും ബൈബിൾ ക്വിസുകൾക്കായുള്ള പഠന സഹായം വചനവയൽ ആപ്പ്